good afternoon from Sanford, Florida. We're here at Elevate Fun, and Elevate Fun is an entertainment complex where they have go-karts. They've got arcade games. They've got bowling. They've got a ropes course. They've got a conference center. They've got food. They've got all kinds of stuff in here. Very excited to go Did inside. Did you say mini golf? Oh, mini golf as well. And laser tag. Laser tag, axe throwing. <laughs> yeah. There are so many things to do here. So I'm excited to come and explore inside. I want to say thank you to Elevate for having us out. Uh, I'm very excited about the go-karts. They are electric and they go 35 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Pretty, pretty fast. Yeah. I consider myself quite the racer. So we'll see how we do. So let's head inside and see what kind of fun we can get into. And so Elevate Fun is located in Samford, Florida. And this is a little bit north of Orlando. And this is in a mall called the Seminole Town Center. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of the pricing for go-karts, for the ropes course, for bowling, for the Omni Arena, which is like a VR arena, for the arcade, and for laser tag. And then they have some deals if you group things together. Pick any three activities plus a go-kart race for $42. Oh, so they got different prices for weekday versus weekend. Pick four activities for $37. So when you first walk in, off to the left is the ropes course. And then we've got the restaurant and there's some arcades in the back. And then we've got some bowling over here as well as a full bar. So let's start off with the ropes course over here. All right, so here we are at the Sky Trail. I'm ready. Are you ready? Um, yeah. I'm gonna like climb things. I'm excited so to good. see you, yeah, do the ropes course. It looks really neat. All right, so you gotta go get harnessed up. <laughs> Which way should I go? There's like a choice here at the top. All kinds of ways to go. So I'm gonna take this guy across. This little like rope bridge here. There's like a zip line too, they said. Let's see here. Oh, it's a little bit like wobbly here. Shaking back and forth, look at this. But they do have like handles that you can hold on to here. Jackson is down on the, underneath me and he picked for me to go this way. So this looks actually pretty, kind of sort of difficult to do. Oh, there's like, angly bits too. All right, I need to use both hands though, so let's do this. Do I go down low here like this or am I supposed to go up high? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was definitely harder than I anticipated it being. Ooh. My legs are not as like sturdy as they used to be. This is like a zip line and you just kind of like, hang from it oh yeah look at that and then you just kind of like pull yourself along on these ropes wow all right let's try it this is harder than i thought it was gonna be wow i find my i feel like i'm somewhat an adventurous person i'm stuck here ah there we go but this is hard like doing this particular one right here where i'm on like a zip line and i have to pull myself across using these ropes here hard look at this thing this is like american ninja warrior or something oh yeah zip line i think i'll do the zip line it's like do it yourself type zip lining thing let me just sit down into it let's see here we go what if i had gotten stuck oh there's like a crank or a, oh it's a brake oh okay there's like a, a a brake here that automatically stops you that you have to pull all the way back and then it lets go. Wow. That was exciting. Look at how bonkers this is. There's like a log rolling thing that just like rolls back and forth as you go across it. This one you think is really easy, but you have to go on the outside of these little noodle looking things, even though the footprints are right down the center because of how you're attached. Like if I tried to go just straight down the center, my little like safety line would get caught right there. All right, what'd you think of the ropes course and the climbing? The ropes course was a lot more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. It looks so fun. It was fun, yeah. but like, there was one where I was doing like a tightrope up there, and my knees started shaking, and the whole thing was like wiggling back and forth, <laughs> and I was like, whoa. It looked all right. awesome though. Yeah. I wanna come back and do it. I didn't wear the right shoes for it today. You have to have close toed shoes. It is a bit of a workout too, just yeah. be prepared. Well, the kids out here are just like running around everywhere. Yeah. So there is there is a 300 pound weight limit and there is a minimum height and a maximum height. So, so. they said the maximum height was 6'8". Oh, the maximum height was 6'8", and the minimum height is 48 inches. Oh, and you're 13 feet off the ground, which when you're up there, seems very high. Mm -hmm. But from down here, it's not too bad. But up there, 
It's hard. All right, I'm gonna do, he told me that this was the easiest rock climbing one, so I'm gonna give this a try. It just looks like a ladder to me. So, here we go. We're going up. Okay, and it's an auto belay too. So yeah, this is definitely easy getting up here. There we are, we're at the very tippy top now. And then we just kind of go down. Do I jump? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I was doing a workout today. All right, we made it up to the top. Now we just to drop. Whew. Whew. All right, time to stop off and get some lunch. You could eat in the restaurant, or if you decide to go bowling, you can eat while you bowl, which is what we're gonna go do. Jackson loves to bowl, so he couldn't wait to get started, so it made it a good option for us to go over and eat by the bowling lanes. So they have these little ramps out here for when you're bowling. And I gotta admit, these are way better than the tubular steel frame ones that are at other bowling alleys. These are much more sturdy, and the ball goes down them better. Watch. Look at that. See how he does. Nice work, buddy. Nice work. Yeah. So they do have 12 bowling lanes for you to bowl at. Now we've got some nice, comfortable seating out here and some nice low tables. So you can eat your lunch over here. And that's what we decided we're gonna do. Let's have a look at the menu now. I like that they call it The Plate. That's the name of their bar and grill here. Yeah. This looks really delicious. Candied bacon, mmm, yes. We heard the nachos were very delicious. Got some nice salads here that you could choose from. Signature entrees. And then on the back side, we got handhelds and tacos, a nice Philly cheesesteak. Some tacos over here. And then, you know, my favorite section here is the burgers. I think I'm gonna get this barbecue bacon burger. Then they got pizzas down here. And then desserts, ooh, death by chocolate. A shareable brownie, oh my goodness. Oh, and they have a kid's menu too. We got cheese pizza, grilled cheese, cheeseburger, chicken tenders. So we started our lunch with a few appetizers. We got the Elevate pretzel with beer cheese and mustard sauce. We loved the beer cheese, it was delicious. We also got the cheese curds. These were a hit with everybody. They were nice and cheesy and they came with a house-made marinara sauce. Look at that cheese pull. Yummy. So of course Tim got the burger. This is the barbecue bacon burger. It looked delicious. The presentation was really impressive. It's very tall. <laughs> it does come with a few onion rings on top. And Tim said that it was it was a really good burger. We were honestly pleasantly surprised by the food quality. Everything was really, really good. It was like bar food, but elevated. All right, so for comparison, this is the Elevate cheeseburger, which was also very, very delicious. Comes with your choice of cheese, red onion, lettuce, tomato pickles. The fries were very good as well. Everybody loved the fries. They were nice and crispy, seasoned well. Jackson got the kids pizza. He really enjoyed that. And I got the Philly cheesesteak. It was very cheesy. It had a lot of red onion and mushroom. It also came with uh, peppers, but I opted for no peppers, but it was very good. It was a nice lunch, very filling. Again, the fries, super delicious. So all in all, lunch was a big hit. Everybody loved what they got. I'm gonna see, I haven't bowled in so long. Here we go, let's see how good I am. Probably not very good. You You went into the gutter. You see these are the same kind of resets that uses the strings? Oh, is it? Yeah, did you see it? There is a gigantic arcade over here with around 200 games. And you can see it spans the entire width of the building all the way over to the other wall over there. A lot of games. So I was taking a quick look around to see what kind of games were up here and they have everything from racing games, retro games, new games, claw machine games, games of chance, Lots of really fun, brightly colored, exciting games. Some of these games I had never even seen before. Jackson found this ring toss game, which is you know reminiscent of like uh, going to a carnival, and he loved it. This was like one of his favorite things. He played this one multiple times. And this I thought was so interesting. They had a Hungry Hungry Hippos game that was like life-size. You're actually sitting on top of the hippo 
trying to get the balls. It was a little bit harder for him because he's so small, but he loved it. And then they had this like virtual bowling game. So it was a great time. He spent the most time up here at the arcade. This was definitely a huge hit with Jackson. He loved the arcade. There's also an Omni arena in here. It's like a VR thing where you can run around too. You can kind of see you're strapped into this contraption here. And then you can run around. There are some other guests in here. And you've got a VR headset on. Oh, and there are a bunch of different games to choose from or experiences to choose from. I like this, there's a paranormal one. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, that looks frightening. Getting ready to do zombies. Oh, this is like the like, what are those? And oh, they're waving at each other. Oh, he's my face. Yeah, uh oh. Oh, oh. So you can see this is the setup right here. You've got some controllers in your hand, you got a VR headset on and then you're in this kind of contraption that you walk around in and you do different games. Oh, Rhythm Master, you can do Rhythm Master. They also have laser tag here. Let's see, I think there's some people in there playing right now. Let's see if we can see anybody in there. What's happening? Ooh, there they go, people running by, laser tagging it up. There they are, ooh, somebody just got tagged. All right, the people in there have about five minutes left, but you get about eight minutes total doing some laser tag. Yeah, I do. Shooting through the walls. Oh, he just like walked up right behind him. Here's the whole charging setup, and here are the vests that you get with the blasters. Right there, and it gives you a readout on the back how you're doing. Pretty heavy duty, too. All right, we're headed over to Lucky Putt, which is an interactive mini golf course. So, it uses scanners, so you scan the backside of your putter, and then you get a ball, and you put it in there, and then it's kind of like a video game. You have to try to get different points based on which hole you get it in, and then it, it keeps track of it for you. Oh, almost! Yeah! Going on to hole number two, I have to try to get it all the way up there. Where's the hole? Way over there. All right, here we go. You have to try to get in one of these, and then it'll come down this. Oh. Wow. Look at this, it's like a traditional mini golf hole. These holes are pretty great. I like that there's like different levels that you can get to, and different skill levels, and different point levels. Look at this one, number nine, I just kind of skipped ahead. It's like a, Pull out. Do I have to do the buttons and stuff or does it do it automatically? Just pull this one. Look at this. Oh, it came back. Wow. There's all kinds of really cool elements in here. Like, look at this. Some sort of like air shooter game that you have to try to get it in a different large hole there. Probably the most unique putt putt game I've ever played. Oh, they have Lasertron axe throwing. And this is legit axe throwing. Like, you're throwing actual axes. They have tables and booths out here so you can get like cocktails or your food out here while you're doing some axe throwing. All right, so there's a bunch of different games that you can play. I feel like I should just do standard mode, right? Objective, team with the most points after 10 throws wins. All right, all right, here we go. And then after a quick lesson from one of the employees on how to properly throw an ax, I was well on my way to throwing bull, uh, bullseye after bullseye. This was actually a really cool experience because this isn't something you can do everywhere. And this was my very first time throwing axes in a situation like this. And I really enjoyed it. I could do this all day long. And now it's time for the thing that I was looking forward to the most from Elevate, the go-karting. This is indoor electric go-karting. Some of the fastest go-karting I've ever done. All right, so we just finished watching the safety video. I got my helmet on, I'm ready to go. Can you hear me okay? You're a little bit muffled because you have got the thing. Yeah, on. you kind of sound like Bane. How about now? Can yeah. you hear me okay? <laughs> They look really cool. So I did want to mention, you do have to wear closed-toed shoes for this course. Right. That's one of the things that is required. Right. So, go-karts are going to get up to 35 miles an hour, though. Oh, yeah. Pretty speedy. One. Pretty speedy. Let's do it.
All right, we are in our spot. I don't know how the microphone's gonna work with this because I got a lot of safety equipment on. So we'll see. Yeah, fully electric go-karts. There's a little switch here to go forward and backwards. And then I've got green means go and red means stop or slow down. So, and they did say like no scarves, keep your hair in your shirt and yeah, don't wear a loose fitting jacket. So this ought to be fun. I'm excited. Ooh, a little bit nervous. We'll see how we do. This guy's wearing a Dale Earnhardt jacket. Seems like a real racer. updates like in real time the yeah. whole entire race that's awesome Oh, you came in first? Came in first. No, I came oh. in second. No, oh, you're in first. Oh, look at that. You didn't oh. even know. came in first place. I had the fastest lap, buddy. You did it. What do you think? This is tiring. I couldn't do it. I got to get a different mile because uh. it was too, I had to use both hands. Oh, okay. Working out. Well, I got, some really, I got some good shots of you. Okay, good. Yeah. It looked wow. really fast. How fast did it feel? It felt faster than 35 because you're low to the ground. Yeah, it looked like very fast. Out around the corner. <laughs> Got into a little accident. I think my favorite part of the whole track watching you was the the turn over there. Oh, that like big upper? Like yeah. The up and down turn? What was your favorite part of the track? The downhill down here. Oh, was it? so fast around oh, this turn right here. That's awesome. It was good. Really good. All right, there it is. He got the number one spot. He should be standing right here. Right here on the number one. So his, I guess his top speed was uh, 27 miles an hour, almost 28 miles an hour. Number one. All right, you won. You gotta stand. No, you're number one. Yeah! All right, and with that, I believe that we have done everything. You can see some of the junior cars are out there right now. So these are not as fast as the pro car that I was in. And you can hear they're a lot quieter. They're not skidding around the turns. They're not going quite as fast. But we are headed out. This was super fun. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Elevate Fun. Super, super fun time. Really enjoyed my time here. I love go-kart racing. So getting in the fast go-karts and really going around, one of my favorite things to do. Jackson really liked playing the arcades. And while he was playing, he was amassing points, like tickets. But they stored on the card that they used to access the games. And then at the end of the day, he was able to go into the prize room and get some prizes. So he got like a bunch of rubber ducks. He got a bunch of little things. It was a lot of fun for him to pick out what he won as a prize. Um, we got to do everything. We got to do go-karting. We got to do the mini golf. We got to do the arcade. We got to see the VR. We got to see the laser tag. We got to do some ax throwing. We got to do some bowling. We ate the food. It was a fantastic day. This place is good for all ages. They were running Father's Day deals too. So if you want to bring your dad out here to come do some go-karting. So it's about 45 minutes north of Walt Disney World. So it's just a straight shot down I-4. Really easy to get to. It is in the Seminole Town Center Mall. Just It's literally right off the highway. I want to say thank you to Elevate for having us out. This is definitely something we'll be back to try again. Because like I said, we got to see some of the stuff. We didn't get to do everything. We just ran out of time. But you could spend all day here. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price. Yeah.